I'm here in my kitchen and I wanted to show you how I make my, what I call the very berry chocolate cherry smoothie. So let's get started. Okay, so here is uh, what I use to make my smoothies, which is a Thermomix. If you have any other high-powered blender, that will work just as well. And here's everything that's going to go into our smoothie. I've got some golden flax seeds here, some cacao powder, a half of a lemon, some water, some greens, berries, cherries, and then some more greens. So, alrighty. So first off, I'm going to put in the really lightweight items, which in this case is the flax seed. Um, it goes in like this. Then I add the cacao. And then I buy these uh, Power to the Greens from Trader Joe's. And there's five ounces in there. And what I like to do is put about half of a bag in every day. And the Thermomix has a built-in scale. Uh, it's in grams. But, uh, Two and a half ounces is about 70 or 75 grams. So, so here I got about 70 grams of the greens in now. Okay, so because I actually really like the taste of greens now, I put in some more uh, frozen spinach, also from Trader Joe's. I got about 85 grams, so that's you know about three ounces. And now it comes in, and so now I'm going to put in some blueberries here and I buy these wild boreal blueberries also at Trader Joe's. Um, Dr. F says the smaller blueberries are better because the, all the good stuff is in the skin and so you get a better ratio of skin to flesh. And one cup here is about 140 grams and I'm looking to add about uh, three-fourths of a cup so maybe like 100 grams or so of berries. And then I'm going to add some dark uh, cherries, also from Trader Joe's. And two-thirds of a cup of cherries is 150 grams, which is about the right amount here. So that's 150 grams of cherries. Also, I add in one half of a banana. This adds, adds uh, sweetness and also a little bit of creaminess to the whole thing. And I'm going to dump in this glass of water as well as squeeze in this half of a lemon. And that's it for this all. And then I'm going to blend this up for two or three minutes. Usually scrape down once in between and it comes out absolutely smooth. I will let you see what it looks like. Alrighty, so here we are. I blended this for a total of three minutes, and as you can see, it's sort of a purplish brown, which is what happens when you mix green and red and purple fruit. So I'm gonna pour some in a glass and give it a try and see what it tastes like and let you know. Alrighty, so here goes the pouring. And this makes two big two of these big glasses, so it's almost like 32 ounces of smoothie here. As you can see, there's quite a lot still left in the Thermomix at this point, which I will drink this and then come back for more later. Alrighty, so here I am back with you. And as you can see, here's my drinking my smoothie. Tastes delicious. I probably could have added a little bit more chocolate today, not quite as chocolatey as I like it, though I like the, I really enjoy the balance of the greens with the sweet fruit. And so this is my favorite breakfast and takes a total of, you know, less than five minutes to throw together. And um, it's a great way to start the day.